So moving on. <laughs> oh god. Snake, be careful. I might not have told you this yet, but that swamp is rigged with traps. Thanks, Eva. Tell me about it. So you know already? Yeah. Well, then you're all set. The traps in that area are set to go off when a rope stretched along the ground is disturbed. Keep a close eye on the ground and make sure you don't trip over a rope. I mean, far be it from me to call you an idiot who can't avoid even the simplest of traps. Listen, lady. You know, Would you call me an idiot if you knew that I was wearing a crocodile on my head? Never mind. My hat can bite you. So now my part of my life bar is red, and what that means is that that red part of the bar will never regenerate. I have full stamina, which my health will regenerate over time, but the red part of the bar will not until I go into this menu and fix this deep cut. So it suits her up, throw a bandage on it, some stip styptic, disinfects. Now the red part's gone, and I can fill all the way back up. Sheesh. So here we have electric fences, and uh, the thing about electric fences is we can equip the M19, throw a bullet through that, and down it goes. Also we're looking through the croc cap. That's a beautiful thing right there. We're going to get rid of the croc cap, we're going to put on some sensible camouflage here because I really don't want to be seen in this area. I'll go with, I think woodland and leaf is probably the best overall in this area. And we'll switch back to my Mark 22. So turning off the electric fence just means I don't get zapped when I push myself into it like that. Which is a good thing. Overall. Now with thermals you can find traps on the ground. God damn it my croc cap was in the place. There we go. Like, you can see this trap here now. The line, and then all these claymores. And you can see dogs over there. In MGS games, typically just crawling up behind a claymore is enough to pick it up. So we'll do that. We will make this puppy go night-night. There should be another guy over here now. I have no idea where he is. Oh, now I'm worried. Usually he hears that dog yelp. Maybe he wasn't in the right spot? I don't know. Now let's see if I can crawl through this hole without getting zapped. Yeah, we're good. Okay. There he is. Did he hear the, is he coming this way? He is. So he's going to go check on his dog. But what he doesn't know is that I'm going to come up behind him and vitamin K. Good night. There should be another fool around this corner. I mean, this is a map you can improvise. Yeah, I see him up there. Um, as long as you're being diligent in searching for these guards... It's not that difficult to uh, keep an eye on everybody. As long as you move slowly forward and make good use of the thermals, locating each individual guard is not that big of an issue. I just happen to know where these particular guards are on this map. But sometimes when they act in a way that I don't expect... Get a little freaky. Okay, so there's two guards over there. And there's another one way up there on that hill. So let's get him first, I think. So he'll go down. These guys I've got to put down together. It didn't alert the other guy. He didn't notice. I don't know that I've ever seen that before. 
Okay, so he's asleep over there. Cool. No, that's that's actually really nice. Usually, okay, what happens is you put the first guy to sleep. And then he's only got a, you've only got a couple of seconds to put the other guy to sleep before the first guy wakes up the second guy. Frog. Mark that off. Good times. But hey, that time he didn't even friggin' notice, so... This guy noticed. I used more ammo there than I wanted to use. Alright, what can we do with Scooby here? One time on screen, on stream, when I was playing this game, I accidentally had the M19 equipped when I shot one of those dogs. My stream dudes have never let me hear the end of it. Brick Road killed a dog! And then my wife came in the room and she's like, what, you killed a dog? And then she divorced me and now I live in a box. It's just bad. This is a hell of a map right here. I have kind of a path through this map. We might have to get improvisational with it. If it doesn't go right. And we kind of have to do this quick, too. Because if they wake up and send in reinforcements... That's no good for anybody. So we get this face paint here. And we'll come up around this side. Take him down. Now there's this guy over here, and I really, really want to do something special with this guy. Where is he patrolling to? He's going back this way. Fair enough. What we're going to do is come up behind him and half press circle. Got him. So now we can interrogate him. He's going to tell us. Come on. Come on. Radio 147.96. Now we'll put him to sleep. So, what is Radio 147.96? It's healing radio. So what that will do is just fill up my bars. And you can only use each... There's, I think... Looks like there's more than I've found. I have never found the entire list. But the thing about uh, guards is the items they're carrying is are not randomized. Guards can be carrying an item that you f uh, can hold them up to get. They could be carrying an item that you can shake down off of them if they're asleep or knocked out. Or they can uh, give you information if you hold them up. And that's not randomized. It's always the same guards in every game. It changes based on difficulty level, but I think that's it. M19 suppressor, which is good, because here's my frog. No, no, shoot the frog. There you go. So I kn that guard will always have the healing radio in every game. Knocks so this guy comes in. He's gonna come in and we're gonna immediately vitamin K him. Then put him to sleep. Looks like I've got one shot left on this suppressor. Let's take this guy out. Yep, yeah, suppressor's gone. Good thing I've got a spare. Okay, he'll go down now, though. Yeah, he's, he's down. And there should be one more guy in front of that building. Oh, you know what? Let's go in here. Uh, nah. We need to go up this way first. There's a guy in front of that building, and then there's a building in the back corner here with a guy in front of it. Beautiful shot. Because we're going to get all kinds of fun stuff to play with. 
I use the overhead views in these little rooms just because it's a lot easier to uh, navigate in them. So, what we have now... TNT. It's Dynamites. Some old band taught me that. Alright, we're going to plant TNT in this supply shed. Oh, there's a locker in here too. Oh, it's not a locker I can open now. Alright. Oh, I didn't mean to do that! Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. That's terrible. I missed a knock on the wall. I forgot to sell my TNT equips. I set it off prematurely. Okay. Um. Oh, I didn't get a caution, though. They're not sending in more dudes. Oh, they did send any more dudes. Damn it. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm stuck on something. Oh, no. Oh, I... Ugh. Ugh. Frustrating. This game gets really finicky. Because uh, the circle button, if you press up against the wall, will knock on the wall and make noise to kind of distract guys. But the circle button with the TNT equipped sets off your TNT. Oh, I've only got half a life bar for this fight up here. Mm, it's gonna get interesting, that's for sure. So we've made it to the entrance of the cave. Oh, and Ocelot's here. That's fun. No problem, Ocelot. We'll take care of you in a second. First... We're going to take off the suppressors on both of these guns, because we don't want to waste suppressor during a boss fight. We need to get my frog here. Alright, so there, yep, there's frogs even in boss fights. And he's got his little ocelot units off to the side who are shooting for him because they're common cowards. Ow. There's hornet's nests up there you can shoot down. But if you do that, he sh there's some on your side too and he'll shoot it down and then you've got to contend with hornets and it's... You know what though? I got bug spray. You know what? I will shoot it down. Oh, I'm taking so much damage, though. Knocked his hat off his head. Mm, I don't know about this fight. I don't know about this. Alright, let's, uh... Make use of the stun grenade. From that range, huh? Yeah, I missed from that range, Ocelot. Stop making fun of me. Oh, we're so close to dead. Okay. And I don't want to use my life medicine this early. Oh, he ducked behind that tree. I don't know if you can shoot him more than once at a time, actually. Now that I'm... Now that I've failed doing it so many times, you might only be able to hit him once per volley. He got me. Right in the gut. Oh, I lost too much life. Alright. No, it's fine. Uh, we will use the life med if we have to. I'd rather use it here and not retry this fight 50 times. I gotta kill this snake, because if I don't... 
while I'm aiming at the uh, frog back here. That's the 22. If I don't, while I'm aiming at this frog back here, it'll bite me and I get poisoned. Don't, don't cut see me, buddy. Okay. Yeah, we better stick to the grenades, I think. Whoa! I jumped off the cliff. That's that was terrible. No, 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 don't shoot me. Do not. Don't even. Hold your fire. I'm turning away from the stun grenades because if you watch the explosion of the stun grenades, you also get stunned. And it's not very useful. I'll keep my bug juice equipped for in case he, uh... Oh, I see him. I can't get him from here. Let's throw a stun grenade up there. Okay, so I just got bit by a snake. What a jerk. We'll sear him that. Okay, I got the snake. Ah, oh, goodness. Got him. Okay. Doing a lot better this time. Okay, so he's horning me, but I got bug juice. So it's okay. He can horn at me all he wants. I got one more stun grenade. Let's use it. I don't know if that's... I don't think that's actually damaging him. I think it just makes him stop running around for a second. Sure. Yeah, quick draw duel. There's his buddies again. Ugh, what a jerk. I think we'll get him this time. We only need to... We only need to score a couple more shots. I'm out of grenades, but that's okay. I think we'll be fine. I got regular grenades, but I don't want to do... Lethal damage to him. Oh, I thought I had him there. Oh my god! No, he's schooling me now. Got him. Headshot. I got really nervous there for a second. Because that first shot only knocked his head off. Whew. That's one of the trickier fights for me, though, because it's all about aiming, and I'm really bad at aiming. Damn it! Not every boss fight is about aiming, but this one is. And the next one is. The next one is probably my least favorite fight in the game. Well, I used Bug Juice. I guess Bug Juice has no effect in the middle of a cutscene. Oh, these poor bastards. Well, you shouldn't have shot at me in the fight. You know, Ocelot told you to leave me alone, and you didn't. So you're getting your what you deserve. That's grotesque. <laughs> oh, but no, I, <laughs> I went into the fight with a half a life bar because I screwed up the uh, Bolshaya past base. <laughs> because I pushed the button at the wrong time. I wanted to knock on a wall, but I had TNT equipped, so the knock button blew up the TNT, which caused the caution. The idea is if you destroy those little supply sheds, it changes what guards can use later in the game. Like, guards later on will be uh, less provisioned than they otherwise would have. There's also a helicopter there that you can blow up. And you talk to Sigint about it, and Sigint says, oh, we'll call it the Hind D. Haha, <laughs> Metal Gear reference. But I fell into a hole. And now I'm in the bottom of a hole. And I can't see anything. And I am almost dead. You know what? Now is probably a really good time to take paramedics advice and take a nap. Let's call her up. Saving the game, Snake? Yes, we're saving the game. 
All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. And we'll still be stuck in this cave. Shoutouts to Umbaglow who sponsored this video, and to everybody who makes my channel possible by supporting me on Patreon.